hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Anne, and on here i do talk about life and study in italy i do talk about scholarships and i'm also a faith-based content creator so if this looks to be content you're interested in please do consider subscribing to the channel and thank you for doing that in today's video i'm going to make it very very short i'm going to talk to you guys about the documents that you need to know of if you want to come and study here in Italy for almost free. Uh, I know you guys have heard about it and you're like, okay, what's this about? What are these documents that are needed and all of them? So first of all, what you should know is for you to study in Italy, I have the documents here with me. Um, for you to study here in Italy for almost free, you need the family income document. And what does this document contain? So first of all, I'm gonna show you just a sample um of how it should look like it depends on where you actually do get it from but then um basically the family income document the family income i don't know if you guys can see okay okay so basically the family income document it should cover the composition of your family so you your family members you should state everyone there how you're related their age their occupation and then their company like wherever they are working every detail about your family needs to be on the document so the the document has these sections that of family composition then you move to the family income then you go to the properties and movable assets section okay so what you should know is as you state or you compile this document each and every regional scholarship call that is going to come out they're going to tell you specifically where you should get this document years ago students could compile this document but then now due to a lot of fraudulent activities by some students some of these authorities are asking you to go to specific authorities to go get this document okay so after you're done compiling the that of the family composition section then you move to the family income so what you should also take note of in every call the states the particular year that you need to get the family income for so as of last year that of ed go that of ed this and also that of that of Blasio Disco, they ask students to provide that of the income for 2021. But then some other regions also ask students to provide for years back. Some even ask as of that of 2019, 2020. So it depends on which region you're moving to and which year they are going to ask you. So you cannot go on ahead and compile this document without knowing the precedence without knowing how your region operates okay so for this region some of these regions that ask for the year previous what you should take note of is this academic year we know they will be asking of 2022 so do take note of that so it depends on the region you're coming to so for the family income you're going to state all the income of your family that you you guys have gotten then you're also going to state your expenses for the year and the review so if it's 2022 then you're going to state it for that of 2022 then after you are done you're going to move on to that of um properties okay properties and you know all other things that you your family owns so if you have family property you have to give all the details of the property where it's located and everything and then the value of the property okay after you are done doing that you are also going to provide all document that supports everything that you've stated like in the income section if you guys rent or even at the family property section if you guys rent you can state it there that oh okay we we rent and this we rent a three-bedroom apartment and of this amount per month and all of that you need to prove that actually you guys rent so you need your rent contract you add it to the documents um that will be given to you by the authority or that you compile you add it to it and then all other things the family composition you're also going to add all documents that shows that everything that you stated in the document is legit. Please ensure that everything that you state in the document is legit because the fact that the cheat sheet is the poor you are, the more money you get, doesn't mean that you get you go and state falsely of you make false statements just to be able to get the money. Because what you should take note of is after you present these documents to them and then they do 
um, compile the EZ OP, which I'm going to explain a bit, and then they do compile the EZ OP. The document you submit to them, they actually do send it back to your home country to go check on that. So that is where so many students have had like issues. So please, you have to take note of that. Um, what you should know is so many people actually forge some of these documents because they don't know how the calculation goes about. Okay, so you can even state if you guys owns the you guys own a lot, and then maybe you have like ten million or something, something, something if that is the worth of your family at the end of the day in the calculation what you should take note of is it wouldn't amount to so much because it's going to be in um like you know in euros and then one other thing you should also take note of is they are going to use um they are going to calculate that of your family income by that of the assets that you guys have so they are going to do their calculations in the way that like you don't have to be so worried that oh when i state what is true i might not get like much money because at the end of the day if you guys are well to do then it's good that you get a bit less of the money so that those who actually need the money do get access to their money so don't be worried present the right document make the right statements and then ensure that at the end of the day you're going to get this scholarship so that is what you should take note of one may ask why do they need this document so this particular form of scholarship to study for almost free in Italy that is if you do not if it's not on the MICE scholarship or that of the invest your talent in Italy scholarship if it's that of the need based scholarship which is mostly what so many students get because this kind of tuition accommodation and all that I mentioned earlier um, because of that for this particular is a need based scholarship and as a need based scholarship you and you do not live in Italy. You're an international student. You do not live in Italy. You don't make your income um, here in Italy. You don't have assets here in Italy. So because of that, they need something document that shows the income that you make, like in in your home country, and and then also the assets that you own. Okay. So this um, document, the family income document, is the equivalent of the document known as easy here in Italy. so those here in Italy actually do present the easy document and you that you come from foreign you're a foreigner you present that of the family income assets and property document so i hope you guys get it after you present this document then they go on ahead to use it to calculate the easy op they use it to calculate the easy op which is actually what gives you access to university benefits so even those here in italy they still have to present their easy for it to be used to calculate the easy op for them so they get easy u and then you guys get easy op so international students get the easy universitario parificato and then those here in italy like nationals they get easy u okay so that is what you should take note of so that is basically what you guys need to know these are the two like yeah they're going to ask of other documents as well which is that of your educational documents and all of that but then this is the main document that they are going to ask when you're feeling for the um, scholarship for the regional scholarship you can fill everything but then if you do not present this family income document to them in time for them to calculate your easy op even if you get selected for the scholarship it's going to be taken away from you because that is what helps them to know the amount of money to give to you so from now you can start making inquiries um, on your particular country to know where you need to go get it from so students that are actually coming from like you know countries considered particularly poor for these students they do not need to generate this document okay they actually need to go to the Italian embassy with specified documents by the embassy and then the embassy is going to compile the documents for them and then they are going to use it for this application so that is what you should take note of so if your country is part of the list of the um, particularly poor countries this is the method that you use you go to the Italian embassy 
or the consulate in your home country and then they compile the documents for them but then obviously you're not going to, you're not just going to go to them empty-handed you're going to go to them with needed documents which the embassy is going to ask of you and then the same documents but then you're going to take it to the embassy um and then they are going to compile the documents for you which you are going to use for the application so now one may ask okay so when do when do this scholarships open okay so for that of the regional scholarship they start opening from june july june july as a last year the first scholarship that um regional scholarship that opened was that of the lazio disco scholarship it's highly popular in easy so be on the lookout from this year it starts opening from june july so that is what you should take note of this form of scholarship these regional scholarships are highly popular in italy and because it's a need-based scholarship um is highly popular and so many students actually do get it okay because the italian government believes in right to higher education and through this means you get to study in italy for almost free just imagine your tuition is covered um you get a slash on your tuition you're going to get your accommodation um, you know taking care of you're going to uh, be given like you know food either once a day or twice a day and then you're also going to get um, you're also going to get stipends as well and then from second year you can get to go do a semester or a year abroad this is actually fantastic so that's this is something that you should actually look out for so when the scholarships open the original scholarship starts opening i'm going to tell you guys all about it all about it all about it okay so that is for the original scholarships but then for the mice scholarship as you guys know you guys can check all other videos i've made a, a different video where i explain to you the various um you know scholarships available here in italy so you can you can kind of like check it out i'll leave it up above above so you do check it out so that is it for this video please if you like the video don't forget to share it subscribe to the channel please share it to so many people so that they'll get to know of the opportunity of coming to study in italy for almost free tag me on instagram on instagram i'm at it's just Anne, and i'm going to reshare it and i'm going to give you a shout out in my next video so that is it for this video i'll see you in my next video bye